the holiday season was drawing to a close. It had been a busy year and Bert was feeling unwell. Rex and Mike were unsympathetic. Poor old Bert, they said to each other. A shame he's out of puff. No stamina, these youngsters. What you need, Bert, Mike went on, is determination and sticking power. Sticking power be blowed. I might have known I'd get no sympathy from you two, grumbled Bert. <laughs> I'll get my breath properly, Bert complained to his fitter. You need new tubes, the fitter said, but we can't spare you at present. Keep going and we'll give you a new set during the winter. He paused and looked over his shoulder. Keep it under your dome, he said quietly, but I did hear rumours about a new engine. We need one because if any of you three failed, we'd really be in trouble. He gave Bert's tubes a good clean. This helped a little, but Bert soon felt poorly again. Bert did his best, and one afternoon he reached the top station feeling very pleased with himself. His train was full, yet he had lost only a few minutes on the journey. His driver put him onto the turntable, and he ran eagerly round his coaches. That gives me time for a good breather before we go down again, he said to himself. Timmered happily as he waited for the car to blow his whistle and wave his green flag. There was a hill near the station and Bert knew that once he was over it, he could run home without losing time. The green flag waved at last. Come on, puffed Bert. Come on, come on, come Oh! Suddenly there was a jerk and everything seemed easy. Bert's driver looked back. Whoa! He groaned. Back we go. We've left our train behind. The guard met them. The tender coupling's broken, he said. We'll just have to stick around until someone can bring us a spare. Stick around, grumbled Bert crossly. I know what Rex and Mike will say about sticking. His driver looked at him. Hey, exclaimed, you've given me an idea. He disappeared into the station shop and returned carrying a small box. Glue, he explained. It's supposed to stick anything. Even trains, snorted Bert disbelievingly. His driver ignored him and set to work. Now I've heard everything, muttered Bert. Then an idea came to him, and he smiled. That'll stop their teasing, he said to himself. At last the job was done. There's no hurry, said Bert's driver. We'll take it steadily and make sure the passengers get home. The guard has told them what has happened, and they say they don't mind being late. The hill near the station was the difficult part. Gently, carefully, Bert eased the train over it. After that, though he took care, it was with growing confidence that he trundled the train home. The passengers all congratulated him and gave him three cheers. When Rex and Mike came into the shed that evening, they were tired. Phew, remarked Mike. Thank goodness we're not as busy as that every day. Bert grinned. Sorry you're tired, he said brightly. I thought you older engines had sticking power. What you need is... And he told them about his adventure with the glue. So that's sticking power, he finished. Never mind. Some of us have it and some of us don't. Good night. And he went happily to sleep.